The LIS-3DH is an itty-bitty three-axis accelerometer classified as 3DOF, or three degrees of freedom, that can add motion and freefall detection to your project. This board operates over I2C or SPI digital output interface, making the device particularly suitable for interfacing with a microcontroller. It is capable of measuring accelerations with output data rates from 1 Hz to 5 kHz. The LIS-3DH operates at 1.7 to 3.6 volts and provides three different operating modes, power down, normal, and low power mode. While normal mode guarantees high resolution, low power mode reduces further the current consumption. Automatic programmable sleep to wake up and return to sleep functions are also available for enhanced power saving. The LIS-3DH contains a 10-bit, 32-level, first-in, first-out, or FIFO. In FIFO mode, data from X, Y, and Z channels are stored in the FIFO. This use allows consistent power saving for the system. It can wake up only when needed to burst the significant data out from the FIFO. The LIS-3DH includes 6D and 4D orientation detection, an advanced capability to detect the orientation of the device in space. We've also written a bare-bones Arduino library to communicate with this board, which can be found in the hookup guide on our website. Things that are too complex for the basic library and rely on the user reading the data sheet are power saving modes and interrupt generation. To get started with the LIS-3DH, you will need a breadboard, some jumper wire, and a SparkFun Redboard or another Arduino compatible board. In the following example, I am using a Redboard and the minimalist example sketch from the library to talk to the LIS-3DH over I2C. This periodically samples the sensor and communicates the data as the number of Gs detected. The LIS-3DH has two independent programmable interrupt generators. Interrupt signals can behave as free fall, wake up, 6D and 4D orientation detection, and click detection. The library example, int usage, will demonstrate what happens when you throw an interrupt in one pin, when an exceeded acceleration is detected, and a pulse on another when a tap is detected. The ultra small size and weight of this board make it an ideal choice for projects that involve handheld portable devices. Share your accelerometer projects with us on Twitter and in the comments below. Thanks for watching.